All right, so this is a video review that's a continuation of our review of the Apple iPhone SE 2020 version. Uh, this came out in early 2020, and a lot of people uh, still don't know. So the iPhone SE uses the body of the, the legacy classic iPhone design for those people that prefer that with the Touch ID home button. But it has most of the internal components is shared with its brother series, which is the iPhone 11. They both are powered by the same A13 chip, which is the most important. Obviously with this one you get a bigger screen and way more advanced camera system, but we're going to do a little setup video. I'm going to be switching to the iPhone 11 as my daily driver for a while, and uh, we're going to just show you how easy Apple makes it. Um, I've been using smartphones for years and years and years since the Blackberry days, and i got to give Apple a lot of credit. They've made the simplest process in terms of switching from one Apple device, one iPhone to another, could transfer over the settings completely wirelessly in literally just minutes and you are ready to go. You don't have to be fussing around with different backups and restores and anything like that. And it happens all over the air. So we're gonna show that process here in a few minutes. Quick start, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPhone to sign in and set up. If your other iPhone or iPad doesn't show options for setting up this phone, make sure it's running iOS or later and has Bluetooth turned on. Also, so what are you doing now? It's downloading, it's downloading the latest software update because it, it wants to make sure it has the latest update. You know, it's apples to apples, no pun intended. You don't want one on, you know, this one's up to date. So I want to make sure this one's up. So, so it just uh, did a restart because it was uh, completed the download. And now you can see this phone here is in a queue waiting. And now this did a restart after it did that download. The download took about uh, 12 minutes and uh, we're waiting for the next step to happen right here in this data transfer process. So there's a little status bar right there and it's doing the update right now. Beginning the actual process of transferring uh, it's preparing to transfer and then it's going to take everything from this phone including my I iCloud account login and as many settings as it can um, that should be all of them because now they're using the same OS so it should transfer everything to the fullest extent possible um, over to this phone so that all I would have to do next because just because I haven't done it yet is put my SIM card from take it out of this one and put it into this one. And that update was is going to vary the time based. Yeah, the on time is you know this I think it had an older version, so. So now it says now it's transferring. Day. Okay, we just we just got a message that the transfer is complete. And this one's rebooting again. So it no, says no writes rebooting. It says before you trade in, give away, or sell this, you should erase it. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. I intend to keep this phone. It's, I'm going to still use it. So but then it just brings me back to my screen there. So now what's gonna happen now, this phone here is gonna reboot. It's gonna reboot and yep. Okay, this is the last step now. So it, apps and data will continue being downloaded but it took everything it needs to off this device and now I can finish the setup process. So display zoom, I just want standard. Okay, swipe up to get started. So that's it and now it's gonna start downloading, now it's gonna start uh, it attempted to, uh, the screen, oh, that actually worked pretty well because this is, I sized this wallpaper of this restaurant that I like that closed uh, to fit this screen. So it's obviously not perfect, you can see, but it's close. So now everything's transferred. Everything's transferred now, and it even took my passcode and all that stuff. So obviously if something is not compatible, if there's a, for example, Touch ID doesn't exist on this one anymore. It's Face ID. So that would be a setting it wouldn't be able to transfer, but that's a minor inconvenience. I don't use either anyway, to be honest with you. I'm an old school password kind of guy. So this is completely fine. This is this is done now. This is ready to use. All this so stuff So now you is, can transfer the SIM card. Yes, if I, yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just checking some basic settings um, just to see if it really transferred everything um, settings wise. I didn't verify my Apple ID yet, so I didn't check any apps, but it does correctly show that these settings, um, my ringtone, like it transferred tritone, uh, chord keys. This one might be different. Yeah, that one's different, but that's probably because it's a default on this device. I'm gonna see if I can set it to, there we go. I like the classic, but it did transfer um, most of the settings here, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, we already know it transferred the wallpaper. It'd be interesting to see if it transferred the privacy stuff, because I've tweaked a lot of that. 
in system services. Yeah, it looks like it did, to be honest with you, because as you can see, I've disabled almost everything. And here's the big one, significant locations. So that's off, that's really cool. And then it turned off um, all this stuff that I leave off, iPhone analytics, people near me. This is the biggest thing I always tell people to turn off. Everyone's like, oh, you know, people think Windows 10 is spying on you. Guess what? Apple's doing the same thing. So um, Google's probably the worst in my opinion, but they all do it really. So I just always tell people, you know, you can, you don't have to turn as many things as I did off. I just went minimalist slash extreme but I definitely recommend turning off the significant locations thing. It, it'll probably ask you for your password, which is fine. And then if you don't wanna quote, help Apple improve anything, you can turn off the analytics and stuff like that. Um, so at this point, you could put the SD card in there if you want. The and, SIM card. And then what do you have to log into? You say you have to log into Apple. My SIM. Apple ID, yeah. And that'll, that'll give the rest of the settings. That'll, that'll give the rest of the settings for the, for the apps. Within right. those apps. For the apps, right. All right, so I have now finished fully setting up uh, my new iPhone 11, and this will apply no matter what iPhone you're switching to, but for today's demonstration, I'm continuing from the review we did last time of the iPhone SE. These are both the same generation, 2020 A13 uh, chip, um, and I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of the iPhone 11 as well, but not enough people, are, in my opinion, are talking about how easy Apple makes it to switch the device, and last time you saw we showed the process of transferring and I was talking about some of the settings. And I just want to show you how well Apple does, not just with using iCloud to copy the device settings, but just literally mirroring everything exactly the same. As you can see, just with signing into a Wi-Fi network here, it's ported over and using the Bluetooth transfer, it's ported everything over on my uh, widget screen. It's ported over my wallpaper, all my apps, which it downloaded placeholders, these little icons, and then I downloaded after I verified the iCloud account obviously but it matched everything perfectly okay I'm gonna show that because this is something that frustrated me on Android a lot when I would switch devices and I'll show you some examples here and then we'll get into some apps that I want to talk about here and we'll do a little comparison of these two devices and I'll show the beautiful screen that this has but I'll give you an example of Safari settings for example we go into settings it matched all my settings exactly okay as you can see here which I do make some changes for security and stuff Oops. but it literally ports everything over um, now of course this is Apple's own browser this is Safari so um, but what's cool about this is I found that it goes a step further, and this is where I've been frustrated with Android, is it also ports over settings that it can from other apps, such as uh, Mozilla. And this is a good example. I'll compare browser to browser, but it perfectly ported over all my settings. I'll show that here. And the tracking protection, you know, all this stuff that I adjust, just one-to-one -one correspondence there literally ports over all your settings and it still leaves you signed in where it can obviously some apps put restrictions in such as NPass, um, Google apps you have to re-sign in again but any apps that it can um, it's literally and the reason I emphasize this because I'm reviewing Apple products as a whole as well here so if you're gonna you know use an iPad you can do the same thing with that getting stuff from your iPhone to your iPad so let's take a look at, we'll do a screen comparison here, and then I'll show you a couple of the highlights that why you might want to get an iPhone 11 series, the main series over the, the SE. So here's just a screen comparison with another one of our videos. And I'll show you the sound. So here's the SE. Nice touch, I like that. And then I will do the same comparison on here. The zoom into that to show you. And that allows you to see. So you can see it's got a really great screen for watching videos. And instead of the home button, you just swipe up to switch apps. 
It's got the great photos app. This is just an example. Look at your photos. And of course, taking pictures is one of the best things for this. The camera is excellent. It has a dual lens technology here. It just takes stunning photos as well. So for usability and communication purposes, as well as due to the excellent camera and the excellent speakers and the excellent user experience and ease of setup when switching between different Apple products, uh, I definitely would give this phone uh, a 5 out of 5. This is an excellent device. So there you have it. There's my son's opinion about the uh, Apple products in front of you and hope this review helped you with your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.